Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to my Barcelona Master League episode 10 where we're releasing two superstars from the Barcelona squad and bringing in one world-class player. So I just want to run through some of the comments from episode 7 because we obviously asked about Depay or Lodi, who should we sign? So here, as far as says, a bit of a shame that you bought players in Puig's and Trincao's positions instead of rewarding them with more game time for being the surprise players. I'll respond to this a little later on and I'll explain what's going on there. So when it came to Lodi or Depay, Couchup says Depay, in my opinion, you need a striker more than a left back. 100% agree with that. Hard to disagree. Uh, Hunar says Depay only because he is linked to Barcelona in real life. So keeping it realistic. 100% totally agree with that. You know, Memphis Depay was linked with Barcelona and they were definitely in for him. Um, you know, Philip says, sign Memphis Depay, but I think you should sign a centre-back. Yeah, we definitely need to strengthen the centre-back positions. That is going to be probably my next focus once I've offloaded the likes of Busquets and Pjanic and a few others as well. Uh, J Jamie Jack says, I got emotional when I say myself on the screen. <laughs> Enzo says, thanks, Bruni. You're the first person to read my name properly. I think Depay... Would make your attack better and would be more realistic transfer if it was to happen in real life yet yeah, another one saying it's a realistic transfer I totally agree matt h makes a great point here don't sign Lodi because it weakens the title race for atletico plus they're on top this season and in real life i doubt they would want to sell i would sign memphis or use the money for another left back i play milan in my mass league and theo hernandez is a solid left back and young you could inquire about him yeah he's absolutely brilliant yeah another good uh great suggestion there as well Vite Drite says the pie bro. HDS Pro also says the pie. So literally everyone is saying the pie. So based on your comments, we are going to go ahead and confirm the signing of Memphis to Pie. So as far as I made a great point about the likes of Ricky Puig and Trincao, who are under threat with all these new signings that I've made, the likes of Arara. David, Ferran Torres, Camavinga, etc. And let me explain what's going to happen with the squad and how I'm seeing the future for Barcelona. So Busquets, I'm going to offload him. He's 33 years old. You know, I want to try and offload Busquets, Pjanic as well. He's 31. So what will happen is De Jong will fill that defense midfield role. And then um, we can see Aroua come into that central midfield role. And Coutinho also be replaced. He's 29 years old with David over time. I might keep Coutinho for the time being. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But Camavinga will be the backup for De Jong. Uh, Ricky Puig and Carlos Salena will be the backup for Aroua and David. So I don't think it's going to stump their sort of growth in any way. When it comes to Trincao, obviously Griezmann, he's 30 years old, looking to offload him. Messi might end up as a free transfer at the end of the season based on the rules and challenges we set in episode one. And so, obviously, Ferran Torres will come in there and then Trincao will still be the backup. You know, or he could get some game time as well. You know, both both those players, Ricky Puig and um, Trincao, have had plenty of game time and they will continue to do so and, and get that game time as I, uh, as I reward them with their performances. So, I don't think there's any concern. It's just me just looking ahead to the future. I'm not just going to be like ramming it with players this this team we have to offload players i don't want these players to get so old that i'm going to get no resale value on them so i want to try and sell them before their their value drops too much so janich you know coutinho messi griezmann um, i'm all looking to shift out the door pk eventually too he's 34 so and jordi alba you know anyone anyone with a over the age of 30 basically or nearing 30 we want to try and offload and re refresh and get a nice youthful young squad the manchester united have paid the release fee for busquets so i've received an offer of 61.8 million pounds for coutinho but i'm really umming and ahhing over whether i should sell him or not he's been really instrumental in terms of how this team plays but you can see there towards the end of his uh you know just before he turns 31, he's going to decline quite steadily. So a little bit worried about that. And obviously I won't get as much for him when he turns 30 anyway. So 61.8 million. Oh, it is difficult to decide, but I have got players who can fill that role. You know, 
David has been, or David has been instrumental. We've got Elena and Puig as backup, I guess. So I'm going to accept that. Oh, it's, it's risky. It can really, you know, knacker my season up, but I feel like 61 million is, is too good an offer to, re to refuse, really. So we're facing Villarreal, one of the hardest matches I've played this season so far. So I'm going to go for a 3-5-2 to try and combat it because the 4-3-3 really did struggle against flat. 4-5-1 so I think this is the lineup I'm going to go with bring in Pedri as a left winger just in case we need to mix things up I'm going to bring Dest on for Sergio Roberto so that's the lineup I'm going to go with Puig, Elena and Pjanic, Fati and Torres on the wings Messi and Griezmann obviously they performed well in the last match so I cannot Leave them out. Under the lights at the Camp Nou. Facing Villarreal. And Torres. Oh, here's a chance. Yes! Messi through to Griezmann. And Griezmann doesn't make any mistake. What's this all about? <laughs> I've never seen that celebration before. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still reeling by the, from the celebration, but the uh, the ball around the corner from Messi was nice, a nice little calm flicked finish. And yeah, PK, Lena, Fatin Torres, Griezmann, Puig. That's the ball. Oh, that would have been magnificent. That would have been sublime. Oh man, that would have been so good. I saw him running at the far post, but that ball to deliver it. Here's Puig pick up the ball. Fires near post saved and out for a corner. Get the ball. by Pjanic but comfortably safe for the goalkeeper Bappi oh tries to curl one it's messy see oh. it's a Griezmann Torres looking for the return ball Torres is through oh he can't get a shot off it's doing a fine job. So the 3-5-2 is definitely working against the 4-5-1. I'm going to make a slight change. I'm going to put tight marking on the striker. And so man marking. So make sure PK's got man marking. Big. Messi. Elena looking for Puig. Lovely play! Oh my goodness! What a goal! Oh wow! Madness! <laughs> oh yes! Incredible! This ball here from Elena is beautiful, but look at that! Touch inside and what a bat! <laughs> oh god, I love it. This ball here, look at this. Actually, if uh, Super Council to cut inside that guy there. Improves your first touch. Into Pjanic. To Elena. To Messi. To Elena. Elena tricky. Into Torres. Into Griezmann. Oh. Oh, the ball in. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Paco Alcacet. Couldn't believe his 
Luck. Oh, it's Speciad. The cross. So I said on legend difficulty, if you let the if you let them cross, they'll absolutely destroy you. Obviously got man marking, but uh, PK's behind his man that is Torres. Torres. Griezmann wants it. Oh. oh, great play by Puig. Picking up the ball. Cuts inside. Griezmann holds it up. Looking for support. Lays into pass of Fatty. Fatty. Oh, great save from the goalkeeper. Into Messi. This is space. Drive into that. To Griezmann. Oh, he's fired over on his weaker foot, but. He's done bad. Like that was left hand side. Into Depay, making his debut for Barcelona. All right. Looking for it back. The ball. Yeah. And that is full time. So, a good win in the end. Good win. And that was always going to be a tough game. The first match up. You know, we played against each other. We really struggled. We managed to conquer them this time. Much, much better performance with the change in formation. Really enjoyed this 3 5 team. And look at the performances there. So, Griezmann, Messi, Elena, Puig, Pjanic all have to start the next match. Atletico Madrid winning their game. And Real Madrid doing the same against Sevilla. So, no change at the top three points ahead that is the end of this episode thank you for joining me ladies and gents and we're going to be facing a few matches in the next game we're going back to the highlights style that i've done for the majority of the series but i just wanted to show you how things are progressing with the 352 anyway that's all for me ladies and gents thanks for watching i'll see you next time cheers guys bye bye